Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A few days ago, I received an email from a photographer who told me they use Lightroom, but they only use Lightroom's library module. For their editing, they prefer to use Luminar Neo. And for the most part, this works out fine because Luminar Neo is a plugin in Lightroom, so it is relatively easy to use Lightroom's library module and send your images into Neo to be edited and have those images return back into Lightroom. The problem they're having though, is they prefer to use Luminar Neo's HDR Merge extension over Lightroom's HDR Merge functionality. And there's no way to send a bracketed set of images from Lightroom into Luminar Neo. And they were asking me if I knew how they could do it. And I thought of a workaround and I told them that in a few days I'd do a video demonstrating this workaround. And then it got me to thinking, there are probably a lot of photographers out there that prefer to use Lightroom's library module. They probably have a lot of time invested in it. They have a lot of images in their Lightroom library. They have a lot of them with star ratings and color labels and they have it sorted the way they want. And they don't want to take all those images and send them into another app's library module and start over again, but they prefer to use another app to edit their images. And that, again, will work out okay as long as that other app is a Lightroom plugin. But what if that other app isn't a Lightroom plugin? Maybe you're using PhotoLab 5 or Capture One. How can you take advantage of Lightroom's library module but still use another app that isn't a Lightroom plugin as your editor. Well, what I'm going to be demonstrating today for the HDR Merge extension in Luminar Neo will also apply to you, you folks that want to do this with an app that isn't a Lightroom plugin. Now for this specific demonstration, I have a bracketed set of images of this church. Um, it's a bracketed set of five, but I'm not going to use all five. I have this image that is two stops underexposed. This one is one stop underexposed. This one, my camera deemed to be properly exposed. Then I have a couple images that are overexposed. I do not think I need to use the overexposed images. I just need to use the three below that. The one that is properly exposed, the one that is one stop under, and the one that is two stops under. And you can see I selected all three of those images in the film strip. Now the first thing you need to do is you get to you need to put the images you want to use in this manner in its own folder, at least temporarily. So I'm going to create a new folder inside of my Lightroom library. I go to the root folder, my root folder, this is the folder that contains all my other folders. I happen to call mine Lightroom raw files. Yours is probably called something different, but just right click right on that root folder and then go down to create folder inside of Lightroom raw files. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it my working folder. And I'm going to include the selected photos, those three photos I selected and click create. Now what's going to happen is Lightroom is actually going to physically move those images from the folder I had them in into this new folder called working folder. They're right here. So they're all in this one spot so I could find them very easily. Now I'm going to minimize Lightroom and we're going to open up Luminar Neo. Now in Luminar Neo, when you're in the catalog uh, panel, under folders, you'll see there's a little plus sign. Click on this little plus sign. We're going to add that folder that we just created. I called it working folder. You have to navigate to where it is. Just add it. And you could see that it's right here. We have those three images. Now I could use Luminar Neo's HDR Merge extension. I'm going to click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one. I'm going to drag them into this little box over here. So they're in there. Now I'm going to click on this little gear. Now I did hand hold these, uh, these shots, so I need to auto align it. There's nothing moving in the shot, so I do not need to click on uh, ghost reduction. And then that's good. Now I'm going to click on merge. Now when you click on merge, Luminar Neo is going to merge these images, but it's not going to put these images back in that folder. It's going to put them in its own folder, but that's okay because we need to edit it, right? So let it do its thing. It's going to take a few seconds and then it will magically create another folder over here called, I think it calls it HDR Merge. And there it is. There it is. And there's our image. Now we could do our edits 
in Neo. So I'm going to go to edit. Now, this isn't a video demonstrating how to edit images in Neo, so I'm just going to do something very quick. First of all, it's crooked. I'm going to go to the crop tool and straighten it up. It's actually not too crooked. It's crooked enough, though, so it could be annoying. Something like that. And we'll click apply. And let's just do something very simple. We'll do enhance. We'll turn that up. Okay. So we have our edited image. Now, if I just got this image back into Lightroom as is, Lightroom's not going to recognize the edits we just did in Luminar Neo. So what we need to do is we need to export this image from Luminar Neo. So go over here, click on this little export icon. All right, and we're going to export it to disk. And what I want to do is I want to put it back in Lightroom's working folder. So we'll go to my Lightroom. I have my Lightroom on an external hard drive. It's in this Lightroom RAW files. And it's all the way down at the bottom here, working folder. So this is the folder I want it in. Um, what file type? I recommend you save it as a TIFF. That will keep most of the dynamic range and it will look best in my opinion. Um, I'm not going to use any compression, but it will be a larger file. 8 bit, 8 -bit depth is fine. Uh, you could put 16 bit if you think that would, if it matters to you, let's put it that way. Uh, but either way, and so it's going to be uh, sharpening none. We're not going to resize it. Color space, use Pro Photo, that will give you the largest color space. Uh, TIFF, no compression, 16 bits, uh, no need to save transparency. There's no transparency here. And we're going to put it in that same folder, that working folder, and click Save. And it's going to take a moment to export. Um, Luminar Neo, actually Lightroom, I'm kind of spoiled by Lightroom. When you export images from Lightroom, it's very, very fast. Um, most other apps are relatively slow. Right? That was pretty quick compared to what it used to be in like Luminar AI. All right, now we're going to go back to Lightroom. Now, uh, here this folder, it's not there, right? Typically, usually you have to import images into Lightroom. Well, there's another way. All you need to do now on this working folder is right click right on this working folder and go to synchronize folder. And when you do that, it will find that image, that extra image that is in this folder. You could see import new photos one. And you could also click scan for metadata updates and click synchronize. When you do that, it will automatically import that image, but it's going to put you up here in this catalog section called previous import. If you just want to go back down to the original folder, go down here and there is our image right here. And there's our edited image as simple as that. So that's how you go about doing this. Now, if I want these images back in the original folder, just select them all. Go to that where that original folder is. It's right here, St. Joseph's Cathedral. It was on this date. And just drag them up there and drop them in that folder. And now they're there. So it's kind of, again, my workaround to do this. I don't know where the edited image is. It's way down here. Um, that's my workaround to do this. A um, bit clumsy, admittedly. I can't think of a better way to do it, though. If you have a better way, let us know in the comments below. And thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.